Welcome to Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. Our team is committed to bringing Type 1 diabetics the latest medical developments to manage this disease. We also cover current medical advancements seeking a cure for T1D. If you value this content, please feel free to show your support by clicking on our homepage and hitting the link to buy us a coffee. Your support helps our team to research topics for upcoming videos. We thank you for your support. Hey there, welcome back to Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. My name is Jim and we're going to talk about a fascinating technology today. You've probably heard of it. It's called 3D printing. Several types of industries use it. It really has been around since the 1940s, but it has been honed and rehoned. And in the 1990s, it came into uh, real prominence with regard to manufacturing. Well, now the medical field and science has decided that this technology can also be used potentially for creating islet cells from scratch to hopefully cure type 1 diabetes. Fascinating story. We have it all here for you. Hit the like and subscribe button if you would and we'll get right into it. And I also want to mention, I see a lot of you are content creators, just like type one diabetic warriors. I want to tell you about briefly about a tool that we use and it's made a lot of difference for the quality of our output. And it's also been a big time saver and it's called VidIQ. You might want to check it out. They're running a special 30 days for free and it's very affordable to begin with. So if you are interested in you know, taking the next step with your creativity and your channel, check it out. It's in the description. If you go to our homepage, you'll see the link. And also, I will also post the link in the comment section. Now, let's get down to it and talk about 3D printing and how this might end up to be the cure for type 1 diabetes. 3D printed insulin producing cells show promise for treating type 1 diabetes in lab tests. Here's an image capturing the breakthrough in action. Scientists have successfully 3D printed functional human islet cell clusters, the insulin producing cells of the pancreas, using a specially formulated bio ink. It's a vivid look at a promising leap in diabetes research. What's the breakthrough? Scientists presented at the International Transplant Congress, ESO Congress 2025 London, that they have 3D printed insulin producing islet cells using a bio ink composed of alginate and decellularized human pancreatic tissue, which preserves vital extracellular matrix components, supporting cell survival and function. Achieved up to three weeks of viability in lab conditions during which printed islets displayed robust insulin responses to glucose, more efficient than conventional preparations. Maintained over 90% cell survival with structures resisting clumping and breaking down, a testament to the design's stability. That's great, but we need an explanation of what 3D printing is and how this technology will help type 1 diabetics. Here we go. 3D printing, also called additive manufacturing, is a way of making physical objects layer by layer from a digital design. Instead of cutting away from a block of material like carving wood or machining metal, 3D printing builds things up, usually by extruding, solidifying, or binding material in thin layers until the whole object is formed. How it works. Design. A 3D model is created using computer software like CAD. Slicing. The design is sliced into very thin digital layers. Printing. A 3D printer deposits or cures material, plastic, metal, resin, or even living cells, layer by layer, following the sliced instructions. Post-processing, the printed object may need cleaning, curing, or finishing. Types of 3D printing. FDM fused deposition modeling, melts plastic filament and lays it down layer by layer. SLA, stereolithography, uses a laser or light to harden liquid resin into solid layers. SLS, selective laser sintering, fuses powdered material like nylon or metal with a laser. Bioprinting uses bio inks made of living cells and supportive materials to print tissues or mini organs. Designed the islets for subcutaneous implantation under the skin using only local anesthesia and a small incision, offering a safer and more patient-friendly alternative to the traditional method of infusing donor cells into the liver. Now transitioning to animal studies and exploring long-term storage and broader application strategies. This is one of the first studies to use real human islets instead of animal cells, bringing us closer to an off-the-shelf treatment 
that might eliminate daily insulin injections, said Dr. Quentin Perrier, the study's lead researcher. This method could revolutionize treatment by offering a minimally invasive, potentially long-lasting cell therapy, a meaningful step beyond insulin injections. Where are we now, and what's next? Lab success with human islets has been established in vitro for several weeks. The next stage involves animal testing to assess safety, functionality, and long-term performance in living systems. Parallel efforts are uncovering ways to store, scale, and potentially automate production, aiming to turn this into an accessible, off-the-shelf therapy. Once stable, these tissues could be implanted into patients to replace damaged or missing cells' organs. Example, insulin-producing cells. Regular 3D printing could make a plastic scaffold for support. Bioprinting fills that scaffold with living islet cells. Result, a mini pancreas-like patch that senses glucose and releases insulin inside the body. Projected timeline for humans. First in human safety trials of 3D printed islet tissue could realistically begin around 2028 to 2030, if current progress continues. These would likely be small pilot studies. Clinical availability as a widely used therapy would be further off, perhaps early to mid-2030s, depending on whether immune protection like encapsulation or gene editing is solved. That's a lot to think about, Jim. Well, you gotta love it. I mean, who could come up with this stuff? Creating cells one layer at a time. Uh, it's, it's fascinating stuff if you ask me. I, I assume you must be fascinated too. Now, it's not happening here in the next three or four years, but that's okay. Because you see, we have a lot of other technologies that they've been working on for 20 years. None of us heard about. I didn't before I started this channel two years ago. So uh, that's just another one that potentially could lead to another cure or help other technologies that are probably only three or four years down the road. Uh, as I say in many of our videos, I believe that we have a cure on the horizon for type 1 diabetes. So let's, let's stay optimistic here, okay? Thank you for hanging out with us today on Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. My name is Jim. We'll have another video for you in a few days. Everything to do with type 1 diabetes. Have a great day.